This is a video explaining the difference between speed and velocity. Uh, in everyday language, we often use speed and velocity as synonyms. Uh, however, in physics, we mean different things by speed and velocity. So this is a lesson to help you understand what the difference is and when to use each one of them. Speed is distance traveled divided by time. Uh, we often will use S to mean speed or to stand for speed, okay, D to stand for distance, and then T to stand for time. So uh, if you want to find what your average speed is, for example, and you were to take a trip from point A to uh, point B, then you would need to know the distance between point A and point B. Let's say it's two miles. Okay. And you would need to know how much time it took you to travel from point A to point B. Uh, in this case, let's say it is uh, half an hour. Okay, so your average speed for that trip would be two miles divided by 0 0.5 hours. So your speed for that trip would be four miles per hour. Okay, now this doesn't depend, though, on whether or not you uh, made any side trips or turned around. We could also make a trip where, for example, we went from point A to point B and then maybe back halfway uh, to point C. Uh, and let's say that took us one hour. Well, in this case, the total distance that we travel is now three miles because the total distance traveled, if you watch uh, the video that I have that explains the difference between distance and displacement, then you will see that the total distance that we traveled, in this case, is three miles. Distance traveled is what your car's odometer would read if you, uh, you know, just punch your trip odometer at the beginning and the end of your trip. Okay, so your odometer would read two miles for the first part and then an additional mile when you went back. So for this uh, trip that's drawn there in blue, our speed would be three miles uh, time or divided by one hour. Our speed for that trip would be three miles per hour. Okay, that's speed. Now, let's talk about velocity. Velocity is similar to speed, but it is displacement over time, not distance over time. So in order to understand the difference between speed and velocity, you have to understand the difference between distance and displacement. As I said, I have another video that you can uh, watch that explains the difference between distance and displacement. Let's work some more. Let's work an example finding velocity. We often will use the symbol V to stand for velocity. Okay. And for displacement, we can use vector uh, X and then T is still time. 
So let's look at the same two trips that we looked at before when we found the average speed, except this time we're going to find the average velocity. Okay, so before we had uh, a two mile trip from point A uh, to point B, and it took us half an hour. Well, displacement is simply the straight line distance between your starting point and your ending point. So what is the straight line distance between point A and point B, or starting and ending point? Two miles. Okay, so for that first trip, we still have two miles. And the distance, or the time that it took us, is half an hour. So our average velocity for that first trip was two miles over 0.5 hours, or four miles an hour. That trip had the same average speed and the same average velocity. Okay. The second trip, though, when we went from A to B and then back to C, there the distance between our starting point and our ending point is just one mile. So for the second trip, our displacement is one mile. It still took us one hour to do it. So for that second trip, our average velocity was only one mile an hour. So you can see that the magnitude of the average speed and average velocity uh, can be the same as in the first example, but they aren't necessarily the same uh, and can be different like they were in the second example. The main thing is you need to understand the difference between distance and displacement and know that speed is distance over time while velocity is displacement over time. If you can keep that straight, you'll be okay. Now, I should also point out that speed is what we call a scalar. It has only a magnitude, whereas velocity and displacement are both vectors. They have a magnitude and a direction. What I have shown you, we uh, have found the magnitude of the average velocity. To find the average velocity uh, with the magnitude and the direction, you would need to know the direction. So in that first example, if point A, going from point A to point B, since point B is to the right of point A, our average velocity for that first trip is four miles an hour to the right. For the second trip, we started at point A and we ended at point C. That also is to the right. So our average velocity is one mile an hour to the right. OK, I'm now going to give you uh, a chance to check your understanding. Okay, so uh, I'm going to set up the question for you, and I want you uh, to see if you can answer that question on your own before you reveal the answer. The question is this. We have a track that's 100 meters around, and a runner makes one complete loop around this track in 20 seconds. So I want you to find her average speed and her average velocity. You should pause the video while you do that. Uh, do it yourself. Uh, see if you uh, what answers you come up with. And when you're ready for the answer, unpause the recording. OK, are you ready? Well, the total distance that the runner travels is 100 meters. Since speed is distance divided by time, speed in this case is 100 meters divided by 20 seconds, or 5 meters per second. Velocity is displacement over time, and displacement is the straight line distance between your starting point and your ending point. 
Well, if the runner made one complete loop around the track, then the velocity is zero because the displacement is zero. If you start and end at the same point, then your displacement is zero. And if your displacement is zero, your velocity is also zero.